Hello my loves and welcome back to Bahati Life YouTube channel. My name is Jessica Alexandria and welcome back. That that you might hear in the background is my rooster. His name is Tim Buck. He just does what he does. Right now he's doing what he do. I have a message that is that I want to share with you guys. It is a difficult one because honestly it really it, it makes me really angry. It makes me very upset. And anger is one of those feelings that doesn't come solo dolo. There's layers to it. Anger is usually a compi a, like um, partnered with sadness. And that for me personally is something that I feel as I address this topic also because it's something that I felt. And I want to say that because I always like to be clear so that everyone is responsible in the energy that they bring and this is an energy that I bring to the table right now in alignment with this message. The word is justice. It's been coming through for the last few years and my problem with this word and my problem with the energy right now is the fact that the same things that we're calling for, the same things that we as a collective say that we're big about, we're not necessarily displaying like integrity with that. And for those of you guys that don't know what integrity means, this means that how we're moving and what we say are two different things. So my issue that I'm seeing and the message today has a lot to do with justice and things being unfair. As I say that now, Spirit says that it's mostly the, the main the main energy here, the main problem that wants to be addressed right now by the divine is people being taken advantage of. Specifically people who are doing the work, specifically people who are, it's bone crushing, heart breaking work of taking accountability, going to therapy, reflecting on the energy that they bring, trying to be transparent, trying to be authentic, trying to show up. And then mirroring that by those who refuse to do the work, are making excuses, are half-assing their energy, choosing to do things that are toxic, and creating like a barren circumstance, meaning that whatever they're doing, whatever they're contributing, it doesn't, to them, it may seem significant, but if they took a step back, they would see that it's coming from a selfish place and it's actively replacing sustenance and nourishment and peace from the collective environment. And I don't vibe with that. It really, even as I'm saying that now, it's, I, this is one of those messages lately that I've been telling you guys that I've been feeling. This is not uh, this week I downloaded it. This is years I've been processing this one intuitive message. And you might have actually heard me talk about this two years ago on my YouTube channel and telling you that justice specifically was the word that was kind of haunting and lingering that even as a collective, as a group, there were all of these events that were talking about, you know, gaining justice and, and gaining fairness. However, I'm with that, of course, of course I'm someone who wants justice. And of course we say collectively that we want justice, but also what does that mean? What does that look like? And that was something that personally, I, as I was out, I would ask people because it was a collective energy, a collective vibe, what does justice mean for you? And people would use the, the word in order to define the word. And that let me know that you don't fully understand what justice meant and that collectively as a group, we needed to go deeper. Now, it's interesting to me that as I was sitting in my meditation, and even bringing that meditation out to my chickens and spending time with them this morning, that overarching energy came back again in full force. And Spirit was talking specifically about those people, like, and Spirit is almost referring to these people as like God's children, the divine's children. Those who are really leaning into their purpose, leaning into their growth, they're very highly sensitive people. But somehow, some way, there's a shift where the highly sensitive people are the ones who, the more that they do the work, it almost makes it so that they're the most vulnerable right now because those who don't go to them, those who are doing the work, use and abuse them, or let's say it's not their intention to use and abuse them, they 
will project their reality onto them or even maybe hand over the work to that highly sensitive person and to some extent expect them to do it because they are still in a place where they're moving from their ego and can't or will not refuse to take accountability, acknowledge, and then mask it under whatever word we're using in our society right now as a cover, as a blanket, and as a facade in order to allow them to escape from, again, taking responsibility and accountability for the energy that they bring. Specifically, let me take a step back. Specifically, this has, well, okay, now the divine is asking that we talk about rage and how there have been many moments in human history where the divine has shown up from a space of rage and anger that was justified, meaning that it was rightfully applied to that situation and that if the divine is able to show up and express rage and that is justified, then highly sensitive people, gifted people, those who are doing spiritual work, those who are healing themselves, it is also justified for you to have feelings of rage, feelings of anger, feelings of fight, and also the emotional burden that is taken on simply by living in a society that doesn't allow you to express those natural feelings of anger and maybe even resentment toward the to the collective that this is what we're battling through and this is what we're learning through and it just feels really stubborn because it's on the flip side it almost feels like the same thing that is a tool is the same thing like a tool to be constructive is the same weapon that people use to be deconstructive meaning like they use it as a shield they use it to deflect and spiritually and personally, I, per I personally have a problem watching that. And I'm very much grateful that the divine also expresses that same issue. And that's today's message. Today's message is that things have been unjustified, unfair for too long. It's interesting, too, because as I said that, the divine is referring to things being, like, cooled off, um, which is a problem because it's spirit is then reflecting, or spirit is then talking about deflection, how someone that you can trust or someone that you love or someone who is family can see your gift, see your work, see what you are doing, seeing how hard you're trying, and then simultaneously go through their own shit and go through their own stuff, then point the finger, point the blame, or put you in a situation where you have to shoulder the burden or it's expected for you to shoulder the burden because they don't wanna take accountability or they don't want to. The same rage that shows up when you see, when this person sees that this um, someone is being taken uh, taken advantage of or unfairly treated should be the same rage that they have toward themselves or the same level of awareness and incite that feeling of rage as far as this is not okay, this is not fair for me to do in this situation. And the divine is saying, do not tolerate this type of energy for any longer. For those that are doing the work, there is a hyper vigilance that the divine is giving to you right now to be able to sense when someone is taking advantage of your kindness, when someone is taking advantage of your work. This means the work that you're doing in order to talk about your feelings, process your feelings. There's also someone who is highly in intuitive, but because they're faced with a situation that is that they don't want to see, they're now pointing the, f the blame, the finger towards everyone else. And it's so interesting because there's this flip here that if if this was if this was um, any other if this was any other relationship or any other in, um, event happening elsewhere in the world or towards anyone else, they'd be like, this is unfair. They would be able to call it out. But because they're the ones that are in it, they're deflecting. And this is why this heat. I don't know why the divine is talking about the energy of the heat, like building up. All of a sudden, it's cooled down because they're deflecting, and that is not fair. 
So I asked in my meditation, what does someone do in this circumstance? What do you do? And specifically, and as with all things, the answer tends to always be to bring it directly to the divine. Now, that can be a very scary, scary answer and scary solution. Why? Because when the divine steps forward, things get crushed. That is that is the way that it is. When the divine steps forward and wields its sword and shows its strength, things get crushed, things get defeated, regardless of how strong that person is, that relationship is, that circumstance is, the divine's power and will will always be stronger. And it's, I even now as I'm talking about this, I'm, I'm not even trying to be in this space today. It's so funny too that my rooster is calling out the entire time that I'm doing this reading, but I was out with my chickens. I just got this overwhelming sense of, this is unjustified. This is not fair. I will not tolerate this. I will not take this and I'm going to wipe it out. I don't know what that's going to look like for your circumstance, for your situation, especially if it's involved involving friendships, family members, um, partnerships, people, essentially people that it is that you love and care about. But the, the feeling of rage that I honestly feel has been even suppressed by you, but not suppressed by the divine is so strong that I, even as I say this now, I'm a little wary <laughs> about how this will unfold in this circumstance and everyone's situation will be different. But I will say that the divine doesn't play about its children. Whoever, and again, this is a YouTube channel that I have my personal beliefs. You guys know most of my practices. Um, I'm a s not secretive person, but I'm a private person, so I don't put my all of my stuff out there. Having said that, everyone's path here and r like religious practices or spirituality is going to vary and different and be different. I'm so here for that, just like in my own intimate world. I have so many different friends from all different walks of life. And one thing that I think for them, not everyone, but a good chunk is that we believe in an all knowing, totally powerful provider. What you call that, it is what it is. I just know that whatever that is, it doesn't play with its children. And if you are someone who has been doing the work, if you, and it, I don't know why, but the divine says it has been backbreaking, meaning that Whatever you have been called to do when you're moving in alignment with your purpose, it has created some type of pain. It has stretched your muscles, whether that be spiritual or physical or emotional or mental. Either way, it has made you a better person but has hurt you or broken down the muscle just like it is when we go to the gym and you're building up your muscle. It creates a lot of soreness. It creates a lot of pain, but it builds you up and sets you up for something greater than what it is that you're ultimately having said all of that. Just because you can tolerate the, the weight of things or just because you carry something well or just because you've done the work and you've mastered it does not mean that the people closest to you can take advantage of that energy, use and abuse it, or run away from their own work simply because they feel like they have a pass, at least in your circumstance. There's something here that the divine said clearly, this is unjustified and this is not right. This is not okay. And call call on me, and I'll handle it. And that's that's the message for today. Now, where this applies for you, I don't know. It's not my place, and I'm not going to ask further questions and get further detail because the way that it is, I feel right now is pretty. I can see the rage that the divine feels, so I can only imagine. But specifically, this is in people who that close close to you that you love, close to you that care about you can watch other situations like pan out in your life and be the first ones to say that is not right, that is not okay. But somehow in this situation, what they're doing, somehow for them it's like, oh, well, you know, I have a pass. And the divine says, no, actually you don't. Call on me and I will clear it out. I will deal with it because the last thing that I've noticed when I was out with my chickens and like meditating on this was that the divine clearly said, that this is not for you, the HSP person or highly sensitive person or gifted person or intuitive person or person who's working on themselves, going to therapy, doing what you got to do. This is not for you to handle. You shouldn't handle it, not alone, but at all. 
This is something that you put into the hands of the divine and you trust what happens out. Now, is this a threat to someone? It shouldn't be. It shouldn't be. However, if you take it as a threat, so be it, so shall it. So shall it be. That's on you. All right, guys, I'm going to head out, go for a walk, clear my energy because WTF. <laughs> also, it really makes me upset personally because I understand I've been there. It almost feels like spiritual bullying from the people that it is that you you trust. And I honestly feel like someone here, many of you guys deserve an apology that I'm not sure you will necessarily get until you bring it to the divine and say, this is what's been going on. How is this fair? And the divine already knows. Like the divine, your angels and your guides, it's already known. This is something that's like, I'm the fact that it's coming through so strong and clear and just be like, yeah, no, bring this to me. There's no, the divine knows. Like they're absolutely the divine knows. And the fact that the divine doesn't want you handling it says a whole, a whole other. That shows you how bad this is and how unfair. Because this shows that, actually, I don't want to go off. Yeah, bring it to the divine and see and watch, let, let that be handled from a more more equipped space because and that's the other thing too sorry last thing i feel is that there is an importance to this situation being handled and not carrying forward as if this is not happening um and also i follow instructions so the when the divine speaks it don't i could have fear or i cannot understand or whatever the case is it does feel like it will have a positive peaceful outcome it just feels like someone here is shouldering a burden that is not theirs to carry and the divine specifically is saying that it's unjustified and it's that same energy lately that says not on my watch this is not going to happen not to my child it's it's just not the way that it will be and if that's what you say there are certain things that i personally will tolerate but at least in the eyes of the divine this is not one of them all right my god my loves i send you all of my love i hope that you're well please move with peace Know that you're protected, and until then, I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.